Andy, another one down. And you, you know, you had a, a tough game of it today, but you've still, as you've said, kept finding ways to win games. Yeah, I think um, I've come here to this ground a number of times over the years, and I said to the guys before the game, I've never walked away thinking that was a really easy game. Um, I think the, the qualities of the, their staff, the, the careers they've had, the way the people are here, they won't let their team play at 50%. So we knew it was a really competitive game. Um, I thought we were far from at our best in the first half. We really struggled to get into any kind of rhythm. Um, but second half, as they've done done previously, they responded really well and I thought we were a dominant team in the second half and, and, and thankfully we got a goal. Bogle gave you a bit of a fight in that first half, but it looked like Connor Hall in particular and Aaron Martin and Nathan Smith got to grips with them in the second half. Was that a big part of how the game turned? Yeah, I thought it was a little bit deep in the first half, which allowed them to go and play into the front and you know, Bogle's a, a big bloke and, and if once he gets you in front, it's very difficult to get down the side of him. So we asked at our time to play five, ten yards higher up the pitch and, and make them play in behind us. and. History suggests he doesn't play many night minutes um, in terms of playing at the same capacity he did in the first half. So that, that was one reason. Um, winning more first balls, landing on more second balls, and then we had to connect our game. I thought we were we were quite random in the first half. We had a couple of moments in transition where we, we got away from him, we caused some problems, but it wasn't really a reflection of, of, of our team in the first half. But we hung in there, we, we didn't give them anything. Um, and and so, as you said, we, we found a way in the second half. And a great ball back in, in from Jake. And, it's great for him to, to be back involved on the pitch and I thought when he came on he was absolutely amazing. You know, he had to stop a counter-attack with a maybe a quite poorly timed tackle but he, di he did the job and I thought when he came on he was, he was excellent for us. What, what does he add to your squad that I'm not saying you haven't got but what, what extra does he give you that you've perhaps not seen from any of the other players over the last few months that he gives you? Well, I think they've all got their own personal qualities, haven't they? Um, you know, I think Brad's been doing such a, a great job in the, in the middle of pitch and really disappointing him to see, to see him go off with a hamstring strain. But Jake's got his own qualities. Um, he's had such a frustrating period at the club since I've been here. You know, he's, he's not been able to keep himself fit enough for long enough periods, but I know there's a, there's a really good player in there and, and he was pushing so so well in October, November and, and desperate to start games. But the, the quality of the players in front of him at the time, the levels they were playing at, kept him out of the team. Um, but you can see he's, he's come back in and he's absolutely chomping at the bit um, and we've had a, a number of conversations and for him to get back on the pitch today and influence the game in the way he did I'm delighted for him There was lots of talk about the strikers and how the form that they're in but it was a centre-half that ended up winning it for you Yeah and again as we said over the last few weeks people have to chip in Aaron scored up at, up at Barrow and the midfield players are, are getting goals and the games are only going to get tighter, the noise is only going to get bigger. You have to try and control the emotion of the game and maybe we're a little bit nervous first half. I, I, I don't know, only the, the lads can tell you that. But when you, you need a moment in the game and, and, and we managed to find it, so it's a great ball in from Jake and, and Connor arrives in a really good area around the back post uh, and he, he puts it away uh, really well. Just to mention Brad as well, and it, it looked quite nasty. Can, do you know at this stage just how bad that might be? No, obviously it looked like a hamstring and he did it with, with, a, with a way which he, he pulled up. So we, we'll, we'll have a look. It's obviously a, a blow because he's obviously going to rule him out short term, certainly. So uh, we, we'll see that. We'll see Ryan that. Edmondson in it at right wing back as well. I know a role he played last week. Uh, he had to play it a lot longer today. How do you feel he did? Absolutely brilliantly. I think, you know, threw him in last week at the deep end and just looking at his attributes, I thought he could do the role. This week's allowed us to work on certain things with him to hopefully get a little bit better but we didn't want to overload his mind in terms of too, too much information and I thought he, he was great you know he did the role we asked for him he got himself high up the pitch he produced uh, a number of balls into the box and he, and he gave us a different outlet um, but you can see as soon as we get one nil, we then got different solutions so that's, that's what we did that game management which at times earlier on in the season was an issue you know when you conceded late goals how have you worked to, to improve that to the point now where you are seeing out games I think over 42 games in the season, you're going to have a couple of games where you concede late goals. So I presume you're hinting at Oldham and Sutton. I think you know, every team in the league will have conceded goals in the last minute. So I don't think it's been a major problem that those games are highlighted because I think so how well we played in the games and we were in front. So, but yeah, you know, it's we have got a. a a knowledgeable and experienced group and they've got to do the right thing at the right time. Um, and, and some things are right on the line. 
but we, we, we're not here to be a nice team, we're, we're here to be aggressive and assertive and, and an intense team and, and that's what we are, so we, we, we play within the rules of the game, but we, we tr we're trying to manage a game at 1-0 and we have to do whatever it takes. The end of the game, um, not many people I don't think expected Daryl to be here today, yeah. brought you over to the to the crowd and was very keen for them to give you the credit, but it, it, just to have him about around the place, what has that meant, not just to you, but yeah. to the group as a whole? Absolutely massive, you know, I think he's obviously had a terrible, terrible time. Um, it's, it's great to see him back in. He's, he's, he's got a, a long journey to go through, but the, the, the belief and, and in the lads just to see him again was great. He, he obviously, there's, there's a real motivation to, to try and do this for him as well in, in reality. So it was great to see him back today, his, his first game. You know, he was in a couple of days last week in and around the place and, and getting on with, with different tasks around the club. The, the planning and preparation for next season, but it was great to see him on the pitch, and I, I hope he <laughs> enjoyed it. I, mess, I messaged him this morning, I went, good luck enjoying it. So <laughs> um, I don't know whether he enjoyed it or not, but I'm, I'm sure he'll enjoy the result. But there are some big matches to come now, and you know the next one's Bristol Rovers. Are you and, and the rest of the players, and Daryl and the rest of them now, are you enjoying that kind of that big match atmosphere that comes with every game now, seemingly? Yeah, I said though that the noise is going to grow on it. The, the closer it gets towards the end of the season, that the noise is going to grow. The crowds are growing, which is great. Obviously, we expect a big crowd on Monday, but it's tr it's just trying to stay in the present, and that's not easy. Um, I've just said to guys now, we've got two days to recover. Great, we've won three points, enjoy tonight. But whatever you do now between now and Monday's game kicking off will either affect your performance in a positive way or it'll be something negative. So, massive trust from me towards them that, that they won't let the club down, they're not let each other down. So, yeah, it's the next game. Um, Bristol Rovers have, I think, won today, so they're on a, on a great run of form. Um, it'll be a good game. Kind of look at it as kind of now one down, four to go. No, it was, I'm, listen, I'm not going to change what I'm saying. This was the next game. We had to give this our 100% focus. This one's now out of the way and we'll focus on Bristol Rovers.